Hi there, Guy from Arturia here again. In this video, I'll be showing you one of the most powerful aspects of Keylab Essential, the ability to customize its functions and create user maps. Now, one of the obvious features of this MIDI controller is that it has eight performance pads. Now, this is pretty common in a lot of MIDI controllers, but let me show you why Keylab Essential is a different beast. You'll notice that each pad has text underneath it. This corresponds with the different maps available in Keylab Essential. One dedicated to Analog Lab, another for using with your recording software, and six customizable user maps. Let me show you how easy it is to make your own maps and make the most of your setup. To customize Keylab Essential, you'll need to use the Arturia MIDI Control Center. If you've been following along with these tutorials, we covered the installation in episode one. If you haven't done this yet, follow the link in the description, download and install it. And once your controller is connected to your computer via USB, open up the MIDI Control Center. On the left, you'll see a drop-down list of controllers. If it isn't selected already, pull up and click on Keylab Essential. You'll now see a display of Keylab Essential's interface on your screen. Now to give you an idea of what's possible, let's create a map that controls two instruments at once. In my DAW, I've loaded up a synth lead in one instance of Analog Lab that's listening to MIDI input channel one, and a pad in another instance of Analog Lab that's listening to channel two. In the MIDI control center, let's click on user map one. We definitely want to use the keyboard to control the synth lead sound, so let's make sure the keyboard is outputting to MIDI channel one. For the pad sound, I know I only want to be able to play a few specific notes, so let's assign them manually. That way we can never go wrong. And first off, let's assign each pad to output to MIDI channel 2. This way, they'll send their note information to the second instance of Analog Lab. Now let's assign our musical notes. By default, the pads are usually outputting C1 to G1, the typical starting range of MIDI drums and samplers. Let's say the piece of music we're playing is in the key of E minor, so let's set pad 1 to E1, pad 2 to G1, pad 3 to B1, and pad 4 to C2. Now let's use pad 5 to 8 to give us another octave on these notes. So pad 5 to E2, pad 6 to G2, pad 7 to B2, and pad 8 to C3. Let's use the menu on the left to save this user map so Keylab Essential updates. Just hit store 2, now let's listen to how that sounds. If we've done everything right, we'll be able to play our synth line over the top of our pad. This is obviously a very basic demonstration of what's possible with custom maps. And once you start experimenting with your Keylab Essential and MIDI Control Center, the possibilities will really start to inspire you. For example, let me show you a slightly more complex setup controlling a synth and a delay at the same time. Here's an instance of Analog Lab with a nice organic sound, and I've also added an analog style delay as an insert effect on its channel in my DAW. In user map two, I left the rotary knob set to the default controls to change the synth's cutoff, resonance, and LFO, but I'll change the faders to control some of the fun delay parameters. Let's set the first three faders to MIDI CCs 20, 21, and 22. Now let's save our user map in slot two and assign our new blank MIDI CCs to our delay. All I need to do now is hit MIDI learn in my DAW, click on the parameter I want to control and move the fader that I want to assign to it. Let's choose the delay time for fader one, the feedback for fader two, and the dry wet mix for fader three. Now let's see how it sounds. Pretty crazy, but fun. Now I'm happy with my setup, I can even add names to the faders in the MIDI control center. 
These will be displayed on Keylab Essential's screen when activating the control. You can also use it to leave hilarious messages for yourself, but I'm far too mature to do that. There are so many options available in the MIDI Control Center, I couldn't possibly demonstrate them all in one video, and although I've only scratched the surface of what's possible using Keylab Essential, I hope it's inspired you to take a closer look. Now finally, it's worth mentioning that Keylab Essential features a MIDI out, so not only can you use it with software instruments and recording software, you can also control things like hardware synths and MIDI control rack effects with a dedicated user map for each bit of gear. So that's it for now. In the next episode, I'll show you how powerful Keylab Essential is when used with recording software and go over the DAW Command Center. Bye for now. <laughs>